In today's video, we're going to be talking about osteomalacia. Now, this is known as a defect in the mineralization of bone, and in fact, the actual translation of it means soft bone. The cause of osteomalacia is due to either vitamin D deficiency, phosphate deficiency, or an inherited deficiency in alkaline phosphatase. When we're talking about the pathogenesis of osteomalacia, I want you to have a look at this diagram here. So humans produce vitamin D from sunlight and this vitamin D is processed in the liver. From here it's turned into calcidiol and what calcidiol does is it decreases the excretion of calcium from the kidneys and it increases calcitriol formation. Now calcitriol acts in the small intestines and promotes the increased absorption of calcium. So if we have less vitamin D then that means we have less calcitriol formation and calcidiol formation. Now since bone is constantly being rebuilt and broken down, having less calcium available means the new bone that will form will be less mineralized and this is where we have osteomalacia. The symptoms of osteomalacia include bone pain, muscle weakness, a waddling gait which looks like this, easy fracturing, pelvic flattening and bending of bone. The diagnosis of osteomalacia is usually done by an x-ray examination and if there's appearance of something that looks like rickets or pseudo fractures it's usually the diagnosis is osteomalacia. However we can do other things like bone scans and a bone biopsy. The treatment of osteomalacia involves vitamin D supplementation so this can be around 10,000 international units of vitamin D per week. Phosphate supplementation can also be given and calcitriol supplementation in cases of renal disease where calcitriol is not forming. 